First Samuel three thirteen. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because of his sons made themselves vile, and he was staring them not. You know, one thing, this would happen, but we don't want to get in a place where we get judged by God. And the only way we can be not judged by the Father is come faith, saving faith in this Son, Jesus Christ, receiving forgiveness. Okay, Exodus. Uh, not quite sure. It's Exodus 18, 17 through something. I'll, I'll get you in a minute. Seventeen and eighteen. Seventeen and eighteen. It is not right, his father-in-law said, I'm referring to the fact that he's counseling all them people on his own. He's taking this responsibility on his own. Sometimes we need other people to point out things in our life that, while we have good intentions, it isn't quite right. Moses doing this was not sinful. But it wasn't right for the people to put all this on Moses, was his father-in-law's point. Moses was doing good. Moses was helping people. But Moses couldn't handle all the people. And his father-in-law kind of shared with him that God don't expect you to handle all the people. Seek God for help on how to get help with the people. You're going to wear yourself out. This is why God didn't intend for him to do it all. And if you do, what will happen to the people? And if you do, what will happen to the people? Moses, this job is too heavy a burden for you to handle all by yourself. So he's not telling Moses, neglect your burden, neglect your duty. What he's saying is, Moses, you're wearing yourself thin. And we got to understand that there's points and times where we rely on other people. Yes, we should be fully submissive to God, but God don't expect us to do it all on our own. And that's the lesson here for Moses. We're meant to do it together. The church is a body. It isn't just one member. We're to work together, rely on each other. But we're on God first.